This week, we have for you the first installment of the Benkowski Trivia 2011 title match from Salerno's. Uh, if the ball's in your hands with five seconds left, fake the pass and take it. All right, appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> and three hours later, Lou Deng made the winning shot. We flash back to 1989, and Craig Hodges, the South Suburbanite, joins the Bulls. We talk to him. Goodbye, Jerry Angelo and Mike Martz. You are not the geniuses. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, this is the 23rd year of the Lansing Floral Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. Cobblestones Restaurant and Bar, 514 West Pershing, that's Pershing and Parnell, the place to go before, during, and after Sox games. Open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Open Sundays when the White Sox are home, and Friday night trivia when the Sox are on the road. Want to get a haircut from a great hairstylist? Call mine, Rose Murillo, 312-726-2201. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. Be safe with Sureway Insurance Company, 3312 North Milwaukee. Call my friend Jean at 773-282-2022. She has the answers on your auto, home, business, life coverage, including SR22 coverage drivers. Call Sureway Insurance. Hi, my name is Rose, and I've been a skilled hairstylist for over 10 years. I specialize in men's haircuts and in corrective color. Um, come visit me at Salon 203 at 203 North LaSalle, 312-726-2201. And while you're at it, come in and get a shoe shine and a shave. It's a great place where a man can be a man. Since 1967, El Jardin has been serving the finest Mexican food. Before, after, during ball games, located conveniently just three blocks south of Wrigley Field, 3335 North Clark. Whether there's a game or not, you still get hungry and El Jardin has great service, great food, and great drinks. I've enjoyed every meal I've had there, and you will too. So get to El Jardin for great Mexican food at 3335 North Clark Street in Chicago. You'll be glad you did. One of the guys who will be a real key during this injury recuperation period for the Bulls uh, is that man, John Lucas III. He, of course, uh, the son of John Lucas, veteran NBA star, a guy who... I interviewed, uh, notably with the Houston Rockets, but a guy so versatile, played world team tennis. Uh, <laughs> in fact, he was trying to push this young man to play tennis because this young man's 5'11". But through tremendous perseverance and some time in Europe, John Lucas III made it to the NBA, and here he is with the Bulls right now. And, uh, and, a, and a welcome addition uh, to this club as he we've pointed out numerous times practice diligently taking 50 80 100 shots before the game and then sometimes not playing but came in uh, handy in a, in a pinch recently and will be relied upon uh, in that uh, backup guard position another man that's critical uh, to the whole mix and, and a sensational addition of course is rip hamilton and there he is uh, it's a little different seeing him without the uh, heavy-duty, scary face mask on, but I assure you, that's him. And uh, he, of course, uh, a critical member of the of the club, who not only will be relied upon for some scoring, but I, I think will be a very important late-game defender as well for this club. So uh, the Bulls showing some depth already, and will need it. And uh, Coach Thibodeau knows where to make the, uh, the changes and alterations and keep the minutes spread out in this highly condensed 66-game NBA schedule that, of course, uh, the, was screwed up 
by the dopey lockout. So the new year starts with kind of a mixed bag of uh, information. Uh, a gigantically impressive 40-point win, but a couple of guys out of the lineup, which uh, you know, kind of hurts your team's depth. Uh, what are your thoughts about those things? Oh, it definitely hurt, you know, uh, those guys missing the game. But we got a deep bench, you know, we got guys that uh, are going to take the opportunity and going to step up. You know, for the guy who always logs the most minutes, I'm probably thinking you're the guy like, oh, no, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't need to be going 42-43. Um, I guess, fortunately, it's not really at, at your spot, though. No, no, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I always say every time I don't mind it. Uh, it's whatever coach always goes by how the game goes. You know, if uh, if need be to play 48 minutes, then that's what it is. Uh, we just find ways to win. Uh, and I'm sure guys tonight that are going to be, you know, coming in, filling in the spot, um, they're looking forward to it and going to do a great job. Uh, but we got a deep bench and we got guys who could play a number of different positions. You also have some familiar faces. Um, uh, you know, Kirk quite well. Uh, General Pargo's over there now. Uh, I mean, that's got to be a little bit weird when you see those guys uh, coming at you down the floor. No, I mean, it's definitely you kind of, you know, uh, you know it's going to be competitive. You know, you know, those guys know your strength and your weakness. So I'm sure they're in that locker room helping, you know, the teammates out and how to beat us. And, you know, vice versa, we're doing the same for the guys that didn't play with them here. But, you know, it's, it's always fun and it's always competitive. Uh, so looking forward to it. Do you think sometimes when you have uh, some of the flashier wins like you've had, beating the Lakers, the 40-point win, <clears throat> it almost revs other teams up against you? I think that's, uh, that's going to be no surprise this year. You know, I think last year we could have got away with it a little bit in the beginning. Uh, I think this year, you know, guys are coming in here, coming to Chicago, knowing that it's not an easy place to win. And also when we're on the road, uh, knowing that they're at home, their fans are going to be up for it. So, you know, every night is going to be a challenge. What are some of the things you learned in last year's deep playoff run and or from playing with, with Derek that are going to help you in this 2012, 2000, uh, 2012 season? I mean, you know, we've been through a regular season. This is my eighth year. You know, I think until we come to the postseason, uh, the experience from last year is going to come into play uh, mostly. I think it's a lot of things, you know. Um, value in the ball, each possession and all that and just different situations. You've seen a variety of different situations and the pressure itself, you know, helps a lot with the regular season and, you know, improving. Final question is, can your offense be better? Uh, it seemed like if, if there was one tweak on your team, having a little bit more reliable spread out scoring uh, could be a, a factor. No, I think we're in the right path of what we're trying to do. I think our defense is always the key. Offense is going to be different every night. Uh, we're never going to try to uh, have different, you know, the same numbers or the same look every game. That's the type of team we are. Uh, but everything is going to improve eventually. I think as the season goes on, we're only uh, five games into it. Uh, so we, we're expecting to get better. Well, if the ball's in your hands with five seconds left, fake the pass and take it. I appreciate it. <laughs> And I swear to God, it was less than four hours later that with three seconds left, Luel Dang was hitting the game-winning shot in that game. I told him to do it, and damn it, he did it. We'll be right back. Since 1955, Rosangela's Pizza has been there for you at 95th and California, across from Little Company Mary Hospital. You can call them at 708-422-2041. Everything homemade, including the sauce, great beef and meatball sandwiches, pasta, chicken, seafood, desserts, dine in for lunch and dinner, Rosangela's, 95th and California. It's always the season for Riley's Trick Shop at 6442 West 111th and Worth, or you can call them at 708-448. 0075. Right now they have football strip cards, a wide selection of Halloween costumes and tricks and treats. And then for later in the year, Santa suits. So for all your needs, especially Halloween, Riley's Trick Shop on 111th Street. Nuevo Leon for the best Mexican cuisine since 1962. Serving every day from 7 a.m. to midnight, conveniently located 1515 West 18th Street, just a block east of Ashland in Chicago. Of course, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a wide range of menu items. Everything from steak, seafood, to breakfast, to chicken, pork, dine-in, carry-out, tacos, enchiladas, everything you can imagine, and great quality in Nuevo León, 1515 
West 18th. You've got to call Vince's Towing. If you need road service, flatbed service, or you want the highest price paid to you for a junk car, call 773-581-7647. They did a great job for me, and they'll do it for you. Call Vince's Towing, 773-581-7647. Welcome to the first installment of the 2011 Benkowski Trivia title match from Salerno's at Grand and Racine. Let's take it away with the action. What do you want? Name that tune. Name that tune. Okay, I got to tell them a little bit about it first. This is a country-oriented song, and it's, for, it's got a four-word title. She wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers Sung by a woman if you must know Five seconds Going You belong to me is correct It's a 50, make it rain is on the board Alright, and the dirty sock is up Dirty sock, make a nice selection for yourself. Alright, we'll try to turn it up. But in any event, you have to select. Name that tune. Alright, I'll tell you this. It's from the 90s. It's a three word title. I thought that I heard you laughing. That I heard you Losing, my Losing my religion is correct. It's a 60. We go to the Renegades. Name that too. All right, 70 points at stake. I can tell you that it's from the 80s. And the answer is... Let me count. Eight syllables. Eight syllables. Yes. All right. You ready? Wake me up before you go-go. Wake me up before you go-go is correct. And it's a 70 million. And the Renegades are good. And we go through Charlie Horse Munster. Name that soon. All right, the value is 80 points. And it's a five word title sung by a man. I'm sorry, it's six words. DJ got us falling in love is right. It's an 80. And it's Charlie Horse Monster. We're rolling now. Auntie Joni is up. What would you like? I don't know. Thank you very much. I did my best willing that to occur. All right, it's uh, 90s. And it's four words sung by a woman. Now you want to be free, so I'm letting you fly. Cause I know in my heart, baby, our love will never die, no. All right, four words. Five seconds. Going. Going. That's not correct. It's a four-word title sung by a woman in the 2000s. This never was the way I planned. Not my intention. I got so brave. I kissed the girl's right. Nice. 
Okay, it's Team Salerno. Um, Leave him hanging. No comment. No comment. Like and Team Cobblestone. The music's done, but you can play the baseball for the Doris Roberts John Stamos. Vinny! Vinny! What's up, brother? Daddy. All right, Chicago baseball for 50. This White Sox in 2001 was victorious in 16 games, pitched 221 innings, held opponents to a 230 average. You guys are Five seconds. Going. Going. Louder. James Baldwin is not it. We go back to the top and make it rain. Mike Soraka? Mike Soraka. Interesting, but no. To the dirty side. Mark Burley is correct. Dirty side loves your white side. More trivia after this short timeout. Stay with us. With a 30 year Southwest Side tradition, Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Cobblestones is a great bar on Pershing with great food at Parnell. In fact, they're one of the top 100 bars in the city according to Chicago Magazine. Great pastas, salads, soups, and the great sandwich is the muffalata. So check it out. Great place to go when the White Sox play. I have trivia on Fridays when the White Sox aren't at home. So get to Cobblestones on 39th and you'll be very glad you did. Come play in the area's classiest billiard center, Jukebox Billiards, 7910 Calumet Avenue in Munster, two blocks south of 8094. Selling the most famous names of pool tables and billiard equipment. Specializing in table recovery and moving of tables. A complete pro shop with the most brand names of cues and cases. Celebrating over 20 years, excellence, top billiard tables, the place where the action is, Jukebox Billiards, 7910 Calumet in Munster. We're back at the 2011 Benkowski Trivia title match at Salerno's Grand and Racine, and I think we're talking baseball questions. It happens to be a cup question. In 2006, this guy playing for the Cubs that year reached a record at number of at-bats, 699 at-bats. This guy is still active in the majors. Juan Pierre is right. Big play. That's a 60 for the Renegade. They go to 138. Charlie Horse Munster selects. Baseball. In 1964, this White Sox player hit 23 homers, drove in 94. Five seconds. Going. Louder. Bill Melton. Not quite on the scene yet. We go to Anthony Joni. Well, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? In 1964, he had 23 homers and drove in 94 for the White Sox. Going. Going. Out of time. The answer was Pete Ward. 
Uh, Cub infielder, wow. One year he hit 380 and drove in 149. Way back. Five seconds. Going. Camp Anson. Camp Anson is not it. So, well, I don't want to say anymore. We continue. And we go to Team Salerno. Here. He drove in 149 and he was an infield. Five seconds. Okay. Okay. Greg Evers. They're saying Evers or Evers. It is not Evers or Evers. We go to Team Cobblestone. No. No comment. Five seconds. No comment. My wife. Phil Calvaretta. Phil Calvaretta. Great name from the past. It's not it. Make it rain. How many points is the question? It's worth 80. Five seconds. Pat Wilson. Um, you're you're in the right era. We go to Dirty Sock. Rogers Hornsby is correct. That is a big time play. Dirty Sock in the lead. Renegades are up. <laughs> Renegades? I know the name. I did not know any baseball clubs. This White Sox, very famous White Sox, for the Go Go Sox in 1951, hit 324, drove in 74, stole 31 bases. They said Nellie Fox. It is not the Nellie Fox. And we go to Charlie Horse Monster. I would imagine. Five seconds. Going. Going. Penny Minoso is correct. The 90. And Charlie Horse Monster to 170. Close the blade. And we'll have more championship coverage next week, right here on the Spotlight. I eat on the pasta twice. Just Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria at Grand and Racine is the place to go before United Center Pavilion, Bulls, Hawks, Cubs, and Sox, too. Dine in or carry out with great family recipes, including homemade pastas, steaks, seafood, a great fun bar area. Meet people. Have a tremendous time. At Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria, Grand and Racine, you'll find a great variety of foods for you to enjoy at Salerno's. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsip, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. Lanigan's Irish Pub is the place to be at 3119 West 111th Street, right by Kedzie. Live music on Sunday with Fast Eddie. Drink specials daily, including a buck fifty domestic bottles on Thursday, three dollar Guinness on Tuesday. Call for karaoke information on Friday. Party room two. All that available at Lanigan's Irish Pub, 3119 West 111th Street on the beautiful South Side of Chicago. Get there, Lanigan's Irish Pub. Lindy's Chili Gertie's Ice Cream at 110th and Kedzie has it all. From fresh made burgers, fries, hot dogs, chicken, turkey, Polish, shrimp, tuna, barbecue, ham, tamales, quesadillas. They've got salads and plenty of ice cream with Sunday's banana splits and seasonal favorites. Get all these things at Lindy's Chili, which is where I start, but I always get a little something extra, at 110th and Kedzie. Craig Hodges went to Bloom. He went to Rich East, and then he completed his college ball at Long Beach, and now he's a bull. It gave me a sense of neighborhood and a sense of community that I'll never forget, and I think uh, that has carried over my life as far as having some sense of uh, trying to give something back to the community as far as going out and speaking to kids and, uh, you know, trying to lend some life experiences of my own to them to make their lives better. Yeah, you know, I, I noticed a thing uh, in the newspaper about a month ago where mm -hmm. you were profiled. Right. And it, 
there, many of the uh, remarks that you made were very family oriented. Right. Uh, and in fact, uh, at a show we did, uh -huh. uh, you had family members come right. out to it. Right. And, and I, you know, only on rare occasions has that ever happened to me, and I was very impressed. Uh, obviously, your, your family is very close to you. Yeah, we're a close knit unit, and I think that's the only way that my success has uh, been created, you know, and I just thank God that. I had the upbringing that I had and that I had a strong support system and I think that's something that is lacking today in many of uh, many of the communities across the country is that there's not a family unit and there's not a strong family unit and that's something that we have to try to get back to I think. Well that's a, a very important statement. Uh, on a similar mode there were a couple other things mm -hmm. that, uh, that we've touched on in the past that right. I, I think you might want to talk about. Uh, you were talking about the importance of education. Exactly. And how ironic it was that although you didn't test well, you right. turned out to be a right. very good student. Exactly. I, you know, when I look at stuff like Proposition 48 and Proposition 42, I think those are uh, something, I look at those uh, as barriers. And those are barriers that most of the time are going to prevent, you know, lower economic people on that level from getting a chance to go to school. But at the same time, I think they're needed but we have to consider, you know, uh, how much of a necessity testing is because uh, some people don't, just don't test well. And had it been a Proposition 48 when I was around, I probably would have not went to school because of the fact that I didn't test well. But at the same time, I went to Long Beach and I came out with a degree and I was an honor student. So it was one of those things to where everyone affords, should be afforded the opportunity to go to school and uh, see what they can do. You've uh, referred to the possibility that you might have been a teacher right now. Right. W would you ever go into teaching or coaching after playing? Well, I think now more so uh, coaching than teaching. I think uh, what I'm trying to do is set up an educational foundation that would take over the teaching end of it. But at the same time, I would maybe like to do some coaching. Maybe when my sons get a little bit bigger and I can coach them and let them shoot all the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or, or maybe you want to continue your playing career and be one of the first ever to actually play in the same team as his son. Oh, um, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gordy Howe in hockey was about one of the few He's, guys that got right. a chance and to that's, do that. You know, that's a blessing. I think it's just a blessing to be able to watch your kids grow, but to be able to participate in once they get grown, I think that's, you know, that's even more of a blessing. And uh, now that you're back in the Chicago area playing for the Bulls, uh, it must be uh, a real sense of homecoming for all those various family members. Right. You know, I, I think they were more elated than myself because when they heard the news, it was, uh, was mind-boggling to them that they could uh, conceive of me being this close to them and that they could see my career flourish. And, you know, to be able to share with them, I just think, like I said, I thank God every day for just giving me an opportunity to be in the NBA, but to be able to be in my hometown is even better. You and Dave Corzine, especially. Right. I know you've com I've seen you comparing notes, and I see right. before the game getting swamped by people. Exactly. Remember me from seventh grade? Right. Uh, I'm your long lost cousin. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so right. you know, and then they're saying, "How about those tickets?" Right. Exactly. <laughs> especially the playoff tickets. So you know, it's a good situation in that it keeps you loose because you know you're in a good environment. You're in an environment that you're comfortable with, and uh, you know a lot of your friends and family get to see you play. This week's show has been brought to you by the Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing, 708-396-1010.